Hey guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rides. I'm back here at Jaguar Land Rover St. Petersburg. And guess what? It's time to do some celebrating again because we have a special vehicle. This is a commemorative 2021 Range Rover autobiography. This though is a special edition called the 50. But before we get into the 50th anniversary of this iconic vehicle and brand, let's talk about what's going on here. Land Rover. Land Rover has been that British company making off-road vehicles that not only can do the business, but also look the business, especially when it comes to luxurious looks. In 1970, that's really we start to see such a blend of the two, having that off-road capability and the stylish exterior. But you know what? There's other reasons to celebrate Land Rover and Range Rover. They really were the first in that SUV category before it really was an SUV category to bring some new technology and new functionality. Believe it or not, Land Rover, Range Rovers, they were the first full-time 4x4 system on an SUV. They were the first to have uh, anti-lock brakes. They were the first to have air suspension and traction control in an SUV. But for the 50th anniversary, they wanted to go big and they decided to bring some special colors, some special touches, and only they're making, guess how many? 1,970. Get it? 1970 the first year, 1,970 units. Different colors to choose from, but what I wanna do is I wanna find out, is it worth, is now the time to get one of these? If you've been you know, wanting that luxury SUV that kinda of just stands out from the sea of other vehicles like the Cadillac Escalade or the Lincoln Navigator, is this the way to go? Or should you go maybe a German Euro brand? Let's find out as we dive into this 2021 Range Rover 50. Right off the bat, the color. Absolutely, positively love it. It's an SVO, Special Vehicle Operations Premium Blue, and it just fits the lines and the character, makes you even wanna celebrate even more. Starting at the front of the business, on your autobiography. So this is your autobiography Range Rover with some special touches. I love the way it's all gloss black on the interior. You're gonna have your LED headlights, LED daytime running lamps, very unique, very specific. We kind of toggle our way down. We have some horizontal gloss black, but the great news is fully functional corner vents, little bit of flat black because we have some fog lamps, some LED fog lamps down below, but definitely that Range Rover look. And remember, Range Rover is the premium brand of Land Rover. Flat black along the bottom. Right now we have it in the lowest suspension setting because remember we had that air ride suspension first was seen in 1992 if you could believe that lowest setting you could go from around eight inches or so over 11 inches as you raise it up that's what gives it that off-road street cred or off-road cred that this thing has definitely earned now as we come across the center grill lots of black accents on this 50 trim of course you're going to have the british racing green land rover badging i love the design of the grill and the way that the Range Rover name, that's that classic look, I just wish they would sunk, I wish they would sink these letters into the actual hood to kind of clean it up. But it definitely pops all off of this SVO Premium Blue. Work our way down, you're gonna have your forward-facing camera for that off-roading. I like where they put it, super low, so you can see what's in front of you. And then some gloss black along the bottom portion. Now remember, there are skid plates and other things to protect the underside bits to give it that real off-road capability. Now, when we get up onto the hood, you have those prominent letters. I like the way there's a nice slight fold to meet the top of the grill. And then other than that, simplicity. Nice boxy style. This is a brand that with this particular vehicle never kind of went off the path of this boxy styling. And what's interesting, a lot of other brands are bringing the boxy style back because of how it looks and how people remember that pass SUV. Now, as we come around the bend, this one has some optional wheels. These are 24 inch wheels. These wheels are so large that you actually have to have a UFO permit to drive this vehicle. So make sure you have that permit, but I love the multi-spoke design, 24 inches in diameter, gloss black. And of course we have that very, very low sidewall of a wheel with the tire. So what are we looking at? We're looking at 295 on the width and a very slim and trim, 30 series sidewall. We have it in the lowest suspension setting for that air ride, and it just sits perfectly. Now, this one is obviously set up to be more of a street mall cruiser, but 
Definitely looks drop dead sexy with those wheels. Massive calipers with the Land Rover badge on them. Six piston calipers gonna clamp down on those fully ventilated rotors. And it just, I don't know, I think the black with the white script and the gloss black wheel with this premium blue, the SVO premium blue, just it just speaks to you. Now, as we go down the fender on the autobiography, you are gonna get a bit of gloss black. The 50 badge down there, remember, this is one of 1,970, 50 years of Range Rover and Land Rover in this whole unique vehicle. We're gonna get gloss black on the mirror caps, turn signals, everything else. I love the two-tone style that you got going on here because everything up top is all blacked out. And that's the way it should be. From the A pillars all the way back to the rear, nice flat roof. Even the way they brought some gloss black on the door handles just really makes all the elements pop out. Very nice touches, hard body line down the center here, even along the bottom, the way they have that almost like a hockey stick approach to the design really shows that level of class and attention to detail. Now, as we work our way towards the rear, you can see that this thing just sits absolutely perfectly. The way they do the rear uh, quarter glass, nice and large, and then you're gonna get a low roof spoiler. And one of the biggest things, of course, super clean with no rear glass wiper. Everything is tucked up underneath. You got the Range Rover badge, this autobiography, P525. Yes, we got some supercharged goodness underneath that hood. That's what that badge means. And then as we drop down, super duper clean. Now they do have exhaust, functional exhaust on both sides. They're a super slash cut, so it almost fits flush because remember, this is meant. You can off-road if you put the proper wheels back on with the tires. You got full towing capability. You can tow over 7,000 pounds with this vehicle but you know what let's pop the hood like i said p525 let's find out what that's all about all right guys we got the hood popped of course you have hydraulic hood struts not a lot to look at underneath the hood there is a large plastic cover it does say the name the word supercharged on there so that's the good news and the land rover badge the bad news is there's really nothing else to see but let's talk about what's underneath that plastic cover that's that five liter supercharged v8 518 horsepower, 461 pound-feet of torque. It is mated, of course, to a ZF 8-speed automatic transmission. This vehicle weighs around 5,515 pounds, can tow up to 7,716 pounds. MPGs, 17 in the city, 22 on the highway. It's just one of those things that, guess what? Range Rover and Land Rover have announced that they're gonna be moving to full electrification for 2028. So if you want supercharged goodness that's underneath this hood, I'm gonna do that one more time. Supercharged goodness that's underneath this hood, the, the clock is ticking if you wanna get your Range Rover brand new. But why don't we go ahead, let's fire it up and hear what it sounds like. Hi guys, come on inside this 2021 Range Rover Autobiography 50. It's one of just 1,970 that they're making. This one does have the optional wheels. And I know you're saying, well, Joe, I've been wanting one of these for a very long time. If I'm gonna do it, I wanna do it brand new and I like this special edition. How much is it? So not including the optional wheels, MSRP is $166,000. Let's see what you get for the money to the door panels. Exquisite, stylish interior. Look at the leather. That's not just soft material. That's leather all the way up top. This has the optional Meridian sound system. There's a bit of gloss black that's kind of off-putting, but it does look good just sitting here with all those seat controls. Obviously, the massage seats and everything. We have the nice bright silver door handle, massive speaker cover, and then that lower door pocket there, you could fill that up with bangers and mash all day long, have it, snack on it as you're driving during your journeys. You go from the door panel to the dash, some more gloss black with the silver on the AC vents. I love the way they did this very tasteful 50 badge, nothing too obnoxious, nothing too crazy. This aluminum finish is very nice. I wish they would have put more of that on the door panel, but everything is beautifully stitched leather. And then we get to 
the infotainment side of things. So you're looking at 10 inch infotainment system screen with the leather surround, the AC vents looking good. Of course, it's a touch screen. You could go on your navigation, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. You could tilt the screen, lots of different functionality there. And then as you keep working your way down, that's when you have the digital display for your AC controls. So very, very nice, clear graphics, very, very fancy. And what I mean by that is if you notice, like on the temperature gauges here, you push it and then you could do other functions like add heated or ventilated seats. I'm gonna leave it on ventilated seats. So of course, heated and ventilated seats, I would be mind blown if it didn't have it at this price point, but you could get into everything very easily. All your different drive modes are easy to do and you could use the auto selector, which is great to adjust different things with the vehicle as you're driving. You could get into the seats, all the seat functions, very nicely done. Now you do have a bit more gloss black in the center. There's that sexy Range Rover 50 badge, one of just 1,970. I know I sound like a broken record. That's gonna control that ZF eight speed automatic. When you shut the vehicle off, it drops back down. Love the silver finishes. Of course, you're gonna have your controls to raise and lower the vehicle. And you also have, remember, that cruise control for when you're off-roading. That really is important as you're taking this down those dirt paths and whatnot. Open up this beautiful sliding door. You're gonna get two cup holders. You have your standard Land Rover key fob. Very tasteful, nice size with the buttons on the back. We'll put that back down, close that up very nicely. More leather on this armrest. Pick it up, what do we have? We have a tray here for some Skittles and then lift that up, we actually have a cooler. So if you like to keep your Twinkies cool, I know I do, Leave them in here, you could chill up your Twinkies. You got uh, 12 volt and all that USB plug-in and then the seats. Nice touches, look at the 50, they did it so tasteful. It's almost like if I didn't point it out to you, you would have missed it. But the, the leather is just so supple with the perforated center. Seat controls, remember on the door, you got full electric assist, but I'm telling you, they do a great job on comfort. They even give you a captain, like if this isn't good enough for you, they even give you a captain's chair style armrest as well. So they, they kind of double dip there. And then lo and behold, look at this. Massive panoramic sunroof. And I don't know if you could notice on camera, this is actually a leather headliner. Leather stitch, perforated, absolutely sexy. I mean, just this part really is a thing of beauty. But why don't you come over to the business end? I want to show you behind the wheel of this Range Rover. All right, guys, business time behind this off-road luxury beast. Seats are great. Down below, you do have this beautiful aluminum sill with the 50 badge. This is obviously gonna light up all beautiful at night. And then as you work your way up, I just love the amount of room that you have in here. I'm six feet tall. I feel like a king sitting on my throne. Nice gloss black on the steering wheel. The leather is so soft. I just wanna thank all the cows for sacrificing their lives for this Range Rover 50. Machined aluminum look looks great. You do have paddles, they are large on the back. That's gonna allow you to go up and down that eight speed automatic transmission. Then the dash is a thing of absolute beauty. It's 12 inches, so you're gonna get your 12 inches of visual pleasure. Love the navigation in the center, all the graphics, the fonts, the colors, and you also have a head up display. Of course, electric tilting and telescoping steering wheel. But why don't we go ahead, we talked about how happy you're gonna be sitting up front. What about the people sitting in the back of this Range Rover? All right, guys, back seat time. And I'm telling you, just like up front, you're gonna sit like a king or a queen in your castle in this back seat area with all the beautiful leather. Very, very comfortable. Backs of the seats, you can see you're just gonna get all that leather all the way around. You got your speaker grill cover. Make sure you're gonna get those sounds right where you want them. Open up this nice large pocket. You could easily put a couple British scones back there. Nice cranberry, maybe a blueberry one. And then just like up front, you have the same beautiful AC vents. A Little bit of gloss black, but you know what? It's gonna be okay, just don't touch it and you won't get the fingerprints, but we have heated and ventilated seats for the back seat. And you look at all the connectivity. You got, of course, your USBs. You're then gonna be able to flip that up. You got your uh, home power source and everything, 212 volts. So they have you covered when it comes to connectivity. You could have a nice hanger back here. Maybe you're going out to dinner. You got your tux jacket. You can hang your jacket very nicely. Maybe you're James Bond or you're going to a Halloween costume contest dressed as James Bond. 
put your jacket on the hanger so it doesn't get any wrinkles in it because James Bond wouldn't have wrinkles. 007, shaken, not stirred, and also no wrinkles. Remember that. Plenty of headroom. Love all the leather. AC vents everywhere, which is great. And then, of course, what do we got? Boom. Look at this armrest. Two cup holders, more leather. Nice, soft. Hit that guy. Look at that. You got your peanut M&M tray. It's almost like a secretive tray so nobody else can get to your chocolate-covered nuts there. And then overall, just feeling really good. But if you're ready, let's go check out the cargo area and see what we could haul in this special autobiography. All right, guys. Time to get in the cargo area. Hit the button. Nice electric assist. Opens pretty quickly. What I love about these autobiographies is how you have then the optional to bring down. You hit that. Nice little loading platform right there. Gonna slide things in and out. Look what we have. We have that um, Range Rover little tote in the back. Somebody left some Twinkies. So we got Isaac and Angel, two Radies Rise Patreon members, left us some traditional Twinkies. And then guess what? There's enough room. Two more people, TJ and Brian, Radies Rise Patreon members, left the chocolate Twinkies back here. But obviously you can see you can put even more Twinkies in this nice little cargo holder. Now, if you're wondering, well, Joe, how much space do we have? You're basically looking at 62.2 total cubic feet of space, 27.5 with the seats up. So with this just being a two row SUV, it does give you a lot of room. You got all the controls here to raise and lower the vehicle, raise and lower the seats. And then on the other side, that's where you're going to find your power sources. So nice little home power source right there. Think about the tailgating possibilities. And then, of course, we also have a 12 volt tucked underneath. But you know what? I'm digging some supercharged power right about now. So if you're ready, I'm going to hit that. I'm going to hit that. If you're ready, I'm ready. Let's take this very special Range Rover for a spin. All right, guys, we're in this 2021 autobiography. This particular one is that Range Rover 50. Celebrating so much history there. Just like other autobiographies, you're going to be surrounded by great materials. The ride, even with the 24-inch wheels and in the lower um, air suspension setting, actually rides pretty smooth, to be honest with you. And if you, know, you want a vehicle that's going to stand out as you're driving to and from your different locations, this definitely is going to get people's attention 100% guaranteed. Gauges are easy to read. Everything is very easy to get to. And these seats are just so comfortable, so supportive. Now, of course, having that supercharged V8, that's another nice addition. And you're going to get a ton of torque and a really nice linear power delivery, which is wonderful. All right, guys, let's see how the on-throttle performance is in this Range Rover autobiography. On throttle, here we go. Wow. I tell you, it's as soon as you go on throttle, that ZF8 speed drops down, nose was pointed for the sky, and you are off and running. For a vehicle that's over 5,000 pounds, the acceleration is actually very, very impressive. And then overall, like I said, when you're cruising around and when you're doing your, your daily driving, you're, you're in a, such a comfortable environment. I mean, the way everything is laid out just makes sense. And it really has so many unique touches compared to the competition. Getting to the controls are very nice. Even the paddles for an SUV are very, very large. I want to do another on throttle from a dead stop here just to showcase how this thing gets it done. And remember, you got lock and differentials, two-speed transfer case, all that good stuff. So, on throttle, here we go. Whoa! <laughs> wow. You hear a little bit, a little bit of whine from the supercharger and really a, a nice V8 sound. Now, it is muffled, of course, because of the type of vehicle that it is, but still just really checks off a lot of boxes for that extreme luxury and I could actually add performance SUV, full size. Going down this road over the bumps and stuff, feels good. Yeah, I know 24-inch wheels are going to be a, a bigger risk 
on certain roads, but hey, if you're willing to take that risk, they look absolutely phenomenal. And then of course, besides up front, you do have plenty of room for the passengers in the back seat. Now, like I said, it is gloss black heavy in the center console area, but if you really want the best of everything when it comes to just luxurious feel, that supercharged five liter V8, it, it, it brings the business side of things when it comes to all that luxury and that performance for sure. Head up display, super clear, brakes feel good. You get those massive brakes. How can they not feel good in this vehicle? Hopefully this gave you a nice overall feel of what this Autobiography 50 is all about. We're gonna get back to Jaguar Land Rover St. Petersburg and wrap this one up. So I'll see you in a split second. All right guys, it's been another great day here at Jaguar Land Rover St. Petersburg. I definitely gotta thank Jeff, Miro, and the rest of the crew getting us not only an autobiography, but the 50, the 50th anniversary representing all the way back to 1970. It's one of those things that, hey, if you have the means and you want something unique that's definitely gonna stand out from the rest of the crowd, this autobiography is bringing some extra touches, especially when it comes to that color combo. Add it to your list of luxury full-size SUVs because this might be the one but if you want to keep seeing large and in charge SUVs on Rady's Rides, leave a comment in the comment section. If you're new and you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile coming back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Rady's Rides family. If you want to help us keep making great content, you have two ways. Even though that's four, you have two ways to do it. Click the first link, become a Rady's Rides Patreon member. Click the second link, get yourself some Rady's Rides merch. Got to give it up to the queen of the camera. She's getting this supersized SUV from every spectacular angle. It's a lot of S's in there, but you know what? Lori does a great job. Show her some love in the comment section. Thank you, Lori, for all that you do. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.